morning guys so I had a thought since I changed my name and I get new subscribers all the time for anyone that's new my name's Helen so welcome to my channel and um, today I'm starting off the day with a bit of cleaning um where is yesterday you know we did all the decorating and um, my kitchen's a state it is appalling I've got a load of washing in the washing machine I'm emptying the dishwasher I'm gonna clean my kitchen sides let me spin you around and show so you I'm just open my dishwasher look at this oh it's absolutely terrific those are the things that Danny pulled out of the attic there for Halloween so I have my washing basket because I've just paused it but I've got washing the washing machine currently I'm working on cleaning the kitchen and Danny's back out the um, front of the house and he's doing work on the front of the house today that continues so I'll show you some of that a bit later as well here I have that bone broth that I made last night it's it's off but it's still hot I'm gonna let it cool slightly before I strain it so that's what it's looking like so I'm gonna strain that and then stick it into a jug and then slowly but surely freeze it into little cubes so the kitchen's had a nice spruce up. These are the things for the party that I've just washed up. Let them drip dry for a bit and then I'll find somewhere for them to go. And then these are the bottles and things that can't go in the dishwasher. It's generally looking quite tidy. I'll just give you an overview. Just wiped the table down from breakfast and then I did that. So yeah, so it's generally looking quite tidy. I really want to get a frame for this picture somehow that's happened but yeah so yeah that's my morning routine done and dusted I haven't done the bathrooms yet but um I'll get around to it let me take you outside and show you what Danny's up to on the front of the house So this is what the actual finished coat's meant to look like, but Danny ran out, so that's what the rest of like. And then just the mess that he needs to clean up. Here's what I'm doing. I am pouring my bone broth into a sieve and I've just got a bowl to catch the liquid. And then what I do is I pour that liquid into an ice cube tray and once it's frozen I put it in a freezer bag and here's the one I've done before. So I've got a whole bag but you can literally just chuck this into any dish and it's um, obviously going to add all that extra flavour and that goodness. So yeah that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So I mean it don't look pretty but literally if I get a bone and I squeeze it can you see that it just the bone just disintegrates in your hands and all the goodness in the bone is gone into the broth so yeah it's amazing isn't it or am I just easily pleased it's amazing how the soft the bone is yet the carrots are still in chunks so yeah that is I'm gonna throw this away discard that bit and then my bone broth is underneath without any bits in it I'm going to air this carefully. So on um, my day two, Danny was cleaning the patio. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So we got all the weeds up from the patio and it looks really, really good. It could do with a bit of a clean, but the weeds are gone. And I got asked, we're entering Danny's man cave. It says here, look, come in, we're open. This is Ollie's drawing. He has these little pens and he does his his little drawing on there as we go a in. few comments saying what did Danny use so let me spin you around we're in the man cave shh don't tell Danny so he used this thing here and he got it from Aldi's if you remembered a few weeks back it's a weed scraper I think about 30 pounds so yeah that's what Danny used to um to get rid of the weeds so yeah this is Danny's man cave we got the stereo out from the attic again for the party it stays in the attic who uses stereos nowadays so this was mine when I was a teenager and it's just it's been in the attic and then this is all Danny's things 
he's been working on this this is the guttering that he's been working on we've put all the pop in here for the party ideally i'm going to get in to clear all this and this will be the drink station because this is more just for adults to come in and don't really want children in here because as you can see there's a lot of tools and things like that so this will be for the adult drink station um i've come in here and, and painted my pots so i've allowed them to dry i went I tried the matte black but I wasn't entirely happy with it so I used the um, the shiny one. So I got these plants here, they're lavender and what I've been doing as they've grown I've taken off the, um, the foliage so it makes a ball at the end and I've just been pulling them off so I thought it'd be nice to have like um, a lavender tree. So I thought these would be nice in here but I think because these are only babies they're not very straight. I put this into trying to get it to grow straight but it's not working so much i thought they'd be nice in here but i think these will just look ridiculous because they're because they're little babies so i might get like one of them twisty olive trees things or bay leaf tree things just so I have one either side of my front door i think that would be really really nice so these are these big five foot skeletons that i have and I thought it'd be a great idea to put out the front of the house a table and chair set and have them sat down like having a tea party but Danny reckons they're going to get nicked so I don't know where I'm going to put them but I do have this other one and it's got um, a skewer that you put into the ground for the head and then two arms so it's like crawling out so I might put them at the front of the house and I don't know what to do with these guys yet they look really freaky though right so yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I think my table and chairs idea is, is really good. I don't think anyone would steal them. What do you think? So since starting these vlogs, the most amount of comments that I get are regarding my, um, my Yankee candles. Lots of people have asked me to share and I always feel a bit funny about it because I don't want to come across as being show off -y and I understand how ridiculous it is but um, I'm currently pulling them down and giving them a clean so for those that are interested here's a quick sneak peek at them so on this shelf here I've just given it a clean um this was an actual extension we didn't do this it was done like in the 80s but this was the um, exterior of the house so it's quite a thick wall um so yeah this would have been where the the pitch roof ended so it's just a shelf now this is where i store some of my yankee candles danny did talk about like shelving it up and just having this whole wall as yankee candles but i was like no do not give me that leeway because it will happen so um on that shelf one that's missing is downstairs and it's my halloween yankee candle and that smells like um licorice it's quite nice and then I have root beer, fireside, mantan. If you notice, I keep them in some sort of colour order. Lucky shamrock. So there's loads on here. I've given them a dust so they're not dirty on my bed. And then gingerbread. Obviously that smells like gingerbread. So yeah, these ones go on here. And then above my bed, there's the iron and a carrier bag and I'm not sure what that is because this is Danny's side of the bed. It's a bit dark up here but it's quite a murky day today. Let me just stand up so I can show you. I need to clean these so you will see the dust as it truly is. These are all my red ones. So these are all the red candles that I have and I have this little box on top and a little butterfly behind that should have been put up on the wall but it hasn't yet. So these are all red ones because predominantly my bedroom and my bed set is red so that's why they're up there that one's actually brown but i needed the extra the extra space some of them are a little bit orangey but you get the gist of it these are the red ones so i need to give them a clean up here on top of my wardrobe i have a basket and it's got all of my lush items in and then i have more back here these ones are seasonal and overspill so these ones that potentially I'm going to be using up, these are my used ones. That berry trifle there, I have two of them. I got them in the sale last year at Christmas and I paid £10. I pretty much get these whenever they're on sale. So I bought two. So one of them is over on my 
top of my bed and this one is for my mum for Christmas so I know I need to bring this one down so as I've said it's really dirty up here really dusty I need to get it all down and clean it but there's an Easter one a Christmas one so I'm all clean they're all clean up there all nice and sparkling so the one that I've decided to pull down and burn is the sandalwood vanilla I get asked a lot as well what my favorite fragrance is my favorite is black cherry that's the first one I ever got um I don't actually have it in because every time I, get it, I always burn it and I can't seem to hold it whereas the others I can hold um I've also got my yankee tarts up here so I'm going to spin you around and show you them too so this chest is usually downstairs in my front room but where we've had all the Halloween stuff out I've put it up in my bedroom for now and these ones are the ones that I actually use I have a set that I have in the attic in a bag and they are solely for my decoration my table decoration but the ones in here are the ones that I use um, they were in neat but you know when you move the box around they all get jingled so I have this in here and these ones are the ones that look like you actually find one that's got a label in it so these ones actually look like little Yankee jars which are quite cute and then I have some car fresheners I have these to trim the wick I have some boxes of tea lights I am really sorry about the lighting but I don't know if you can see but it's quite murky outside then I have loads of these ones so yeah these are the ones that I just use daily this one is Autumn Pumpkin. And I think it's focusing very well. Sage and Citrus. This one should be in this bag. Obviously, it's just fallen out. So, yeah. They do smell good. Hey, guys. I just thought I'd come in and close today's video out. I'm just cooking dinner now. It's 5 o'clock. Danny's on the drive and he's scrubbing the drive up, trying to get it clean. And um, I'll throw a little bit of a video clip of him doing that after I finish talking. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Take care. Bye.